I'm Duke Bossanova. And I'm Lola Bossanova. And this is Bossanova Life. And today we're in McMinnville, Oregon. For cruising McMinnville. That's right, show and shine and car show. So much, so much fun, so many cars. Todd Allen. And where are you from? Uh, Salem, Oregon. Oh, not too far away. Yep. About an hour maybe? Yep. Yeah. Maybe he's less than that. I have not seen this delightful car before. So what have we got uh, here? Uh, it's 59 Ford Country Squire. Okay. Um, I looked at, I actually bought off eBay. Oh, wow. Uh, looked at cars for years mm -hmm. and saw this and go, wow, I've never seen one of these. You know? so you, were you looking for a long roof in particular? Or? Yeah, I was. Okay. I like I love station wagons. I was actually mm -hmm. looking for you know, a 60, but I saw this and yeah. I, I've never bought the car and I was, was blown away. I told my wife, I'm going to bid on it. She goes, yeah, right. You know, and then when I told her I bought it, it was like, uh oh, <laughs> now what did I do? So was it like this when you got it? It actually was, yeah. It was restored about 10 years ago. Oh, wow. I, he uh, did drop spindles, lower the de arced it, uh, mm -hmm. put disc brakes. Other than that, it's pretty much um, all original. What are they running inside. in right now? What's I, the engine? Oh, a 352. A 352. Two. It's a it's a Thunderbird's interceptor yeah. motor. It was the wow. biggest motor available during the time. Okay. Has a factory AC, and so it was actually options pretty nice. Wow. The, uh, the oh, interior so is actually like eight miles a gallon, but smooth ride in. Uh, maybe four to six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't mind. I don't ask for the receipt. That's I just right. say fill it when you have a car like this. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, so how long have you had it all together? Uh, maybe six years. Six yeah. years. I love I it. Yeah. I, I appreciate you it, bringing it yeah, out it's today. Fun. Oh, I like like it. I said, we've gone to events up and down throughout Oregon, so whenever I see a new ride I haven't seen before, i got to interview the guy. Oh, yeah. No, it's fun. <laughs> Kid, kids love it because they think it's a cartoon. They think mm -hmm. it's fake. You know, it's, <laughs> it's too weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. And, and to think everybody have one of these in their driveways. Oh, I know. Yeah, the old <laughs> folks, they all, everybody tells, everybody's got a station wagon story. Yeah. Because <laughs> we all had one. Yeah. Said, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do it. No. Okay, well, I do not have those skill sets. It is astounding. What are you running under the hood? 429 fuel injected. Okay, a little bit of power there. Yeah. I love it. So what inspired the build? Something different. Something different. I agree with that. I go to a lot of car shows and I've never seen one. This? Yeah. 1960 Edsel. Edsel. Yeah. Beautiful. It's amazing, man. Yeah. Thank you. You going to be cruising it? Yeah.
That's my son's dog in the background. Uh, what's his name? It's a uh, buddy. Buddy, oh, what a cute. Uh, I'm doing fine, thank you. And what is your name? My name is Arthur Childs. And where are you from? I'm from Sheridan, Oregon. Okay, so not too far away. No. And what have we got here? It's a 1948 Ford Camel delivery. Okay, and how long have you had it? I've had it nine and a half years. Nine and a half years, and you look like you did a little rat rod on it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I basically pulled the body off of it, restored the entire drivetrain on it. Okay. So I could drive it five days a week, which is my daily driver. Now. I love that. So you just get some uh, road time, and then I could definitely tell you got a little sleeper engine going there. It's a 1995 5.0 fuel injected <laughs> engine and transmission. All right. The rear end is a 94 Lincoln Mark VIII independent rear end. Okay. So it makes it a nice, comfortable driver. Gives me power steering, power brakes, yeah. AC, all the modern amenities, basically. Original frame, though? It's the original frame, okay. which has been boxed in yeah. to make it stronger to handle the newer motor. Yeah, I love that. So uh, where did you get the idea of, of the dwarf? The dwarf? I had actually seen that from somebody else. <laughs> and I thought, that is neat. <laughs> I uh, love it. In fact, a gentleman that was parking me goes, so dwarf, where is that from? I said, well, that's from the land of Nif. <laughs> Just joking around. <laughs> Right after, not, not even after the war, like the middle of the war. Uh, right before, yeah. <laughs> in the sea service? Uh, you know, not sure. Is... Somebody found it in a barn in 95. They found it in a barn in 95, I like that story. And then they went and uh, did what it is. The fenders are actually a 38 39. Hmm. The still got those stories. Yeah, I've heard that. They've, they've got the side parts too. They got them in storage still in the military. People would pay a lot. People would pay a lot of money for those. <laughs> hidden two blocks away from the show. That is crazy. Four-wheel drive. What in the world is this? This is amazing. Wow. A Jeep COE. I have not 
seen one of these before. This is crazy. I sure wish just this one had been in the show earlier. My name's Matt Cook. And where are you from? Redmond, Oregon. Redmond, so you did come out with <laughs> hey, We did, yep. Someone's enjoying themselves over there, and we love it. We're on a cruise, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish so, mine was uh, What have we got here? The 1963 Sunbeam Rapier. I've never kind seen of. one turn into a gasser before. That's what it was, anyway. It's been modified a little bit. Okay. So what, yeah. what, what inspired this transformation? Uh, well, honestly, I built this frame under this car in high school metal shop, and I didn't have a body to put on it. Okay. So I was looking for something that I could afford being in high school, which yeah. wasn't much. I was originally looking for like a Mustang or a Mercury Cougar or something, okay. but everything I found was way out of my budget. So one day I was looking through the local paper, and there was a Sunbeam Rapier listed for sale about 50 miles from where we live for like 300 bucks. Wow. Had no idea what it was, so I looked it up on the internet, saw a picture of it, and I was like, God, that's kind of an ugly, weird little car, but it was cheap. Yeah. So I called the guy. He said I was the only person that even called asking about it, and he was actually on it, had it on a trailer. He was going to take it to the scrapyard, wow. have it crushed. Hey, so no, no one, no one can get upset that we, that he did this to this car. It's going to go to the scrapyard. Yeah, there's a lot of people that say, "Oh, you ruined it." I was like, "Well, it was literally going to the crusher, so okay. made something out of it." Anyway. So, uh, what, are, what are you running in it? So this is a 429 okay. big block Ford C6 do you, automatic. Do you ever drag it? I haven't yet. No. Yeah, I'm actually get, working on you a need different to get engine. To Woodburn and see what it does. Yeah, I had it at Woodburn a couple weekends ago, but we didn't race it. Okay. Working on another motor right now that's eventually going to go in it and okay. put a roll cage in it and actually make yeah, it you, you might need more that with serious the with the yeah, yeah. actual race car. Yeah. So. I think there's definitely more motor than car. Yeah. <laughs> This car makes me think of a dirty martini, three olives. <laughs> My name is Jim Hurl. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Hepner, Oregon. Okay, I don't even know where that is. Uh, it's up by Hermiston. Out by Hermiston, okay, so out, out east of here. Yeah. All right, well, what have we got here? A 1962 Willys Wagon. Willys Wagon, and then over here you got yourself a 1961 Willys truck. Yes, sir. Amazing. I, I walked up to you and I said, is this your wagon? And you said, this is also my truck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so uh, are these the only Willys you own? Uh, only two Willys out. Okay, yes. I had to ask. I was yep, like, yes, nope. maybe there's a third one. No, nope, okay. nope. I got a 59 Suburban. <laughs> so you, you like the bigger rides? Well, I like pickups and trucks. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not a car guy. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So uh, what are you running in these Willys? Flathead 6. Okay, and both of them? Both of them. Same original motors. Wow, I like that. Yes, sir. So did you get them in this condition? No. No. No, both of them were junk. No, nah, not junk. This 62 was in actually pretty decent condition. It, it just had to be repainted. Mm -hmm. That we had to cut the roof off of this, and I mean it was it was a mess. You had to get you. Is that why you turned it into a pickup? Well, it was a pickup originally. It was a pickup. Yeah. Okay. But I was going to make a feed truck out of it for a ranch rig. Okay. And so that's that's why we put the flatbed on it. So so which one came first? That one. Sixty one came first. The sixty one camper came first. Okay. Yep. Um, had them when I was younger. Okay. Could never afford to fix them up, make them look pretty, and now I can. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's what inspired. So you do the paint yourself? Nope. Hired no. out. Okay. No, I did a lot of the mechanical work, but not not paint. Okay. Not a painter. How often do these get out on the road? 
Uh, I actually pull my drift boat to the to the ocean and, and fish to the coast rivers with a wagon. Wow. And I drive the pickup probably at least twice a month. Okay. All right. So these aren't trailer queens? No. No. All right. Nope. I like this guy more and more all the time. <laughs> no, they're, they get yeah. drove. This right here is what this whole channel is all about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was lovely meeting you, fine sir. Hey, nice to meet you. You too. All right. Bossa Nova.